guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a wheelie on a mountain bike. Here's a good bike to start on. I would suggest having disc brakes. It's easier to learn. Okay, just have to cross the road. We can start wheeling. It took me about uh, half a year to learn, six months to learn how to wheelie pretty good now. But after after you start to get pretty good at it, it gets, it's really easy to progress from there. Okay, the first step, most important step, is always to have your finger on the back brake because if you go back too far, that's what's going to save you. And then the second step is going to be you want to get to the balance point. And then, you know, when you're at the balance point, it's because you can let go of your brake. You don't have to tap your brake if you go back too far or not up far enough. And you'll be able to just coast. Right there was the balance point. And I just came back down. Okay, first, first uh, thing that you'll want to do though after you know what to do with the back brake and the balance point is you're going to want to get up to the balance point, come right back down. Do that like th three times or as many times as you're comfortable with it. And you should be ready for the next step. So I'll do it one more time, just show you. Back brake. You come right back down. Just always have your finger on the back brake, otherwise you'll loop out. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty bad. Not so bad on a malt bike, but on a dirt bike. Okay, the next step is after you get to the balance point, or after you do that drill, you're gonna wanna get to the balance point. And try to keep pedaling, but always have your finger on the back brake, so if you go too far, just gently tap it. Don't don't slam it down, because otherwise, if you slam it down, I'll, this will happen. You won't be able to keep pedaling. But if you just gently tap it, you can stay up for a while. Yeah, so those are the two main steps to learning how to do some wheelies. And then you're just going to want to, I'd start in the grass or in the dirt, not in a road, so if you loop out, it's not going to hurt too bad. But after you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to progress. Yeah, you just really don't want to slam on that back brake, otherwise you'll, you'll go down way too hard and you won't be able to keep it up. That's up too high. Here's high, not high enough. And then, after you uh, start getting good at wheeling, you can start trying the manual. That's a little harder than wheeling, but. Another thing is, for wheeling, if, if you're having trouble getting it up, you're gonna wanna stand up. Some people can sit down, but it's a lot easier if you stand up and you'll kind of push down on the forks, pop it up, and then you'll be able to go way easier. But it's pretty, 
pretty easy thing after you get the hang of it and then you can start doing tricks like one handers and stuff on my that good yet but now I'm gonna go do some wheelies on the road real quick Once you're good enough to go onto the road, it's a lot easier. After this last wheelie, I'll show you guys a clip of my one of my best wheelies. Well, actually, it's not really my best because I've gone twice as far as that, but one of one of my wheelies I I played in a different uh, another video 2020 rewind. But you also want to have your you're gonna to want to have your arms locked out because it's gonna be a lot easier than having them bent up. If you if you have them bent up, you're gonna do a high wheelie. That's more advanced, but just start with them locked out. So yeah, 